United Rotorcraft, a division of Air Methods Corporation, has engineered a state-of-the-art multi-mission aircraft to fight wildfires and save lives. We work diligently to develop a solution which is technologically superior to its predecessors and is more cost-effective for our customers through our ability to convert used legacy Blackhawks into world-class machines. Starting out in front of the aircraft, one of the most visible upgrades is the Tracker Beam searchlight. The Tracker Beam is an incredibly bright searchlight, very adjustable. It's actually linked to the FLIR system. So on the moving map on the interior, wherever you point the FLIR, you can make this follow, including under IR light for goggle usage, which is a really cool feature. Another upgrade we've done is the AEM PA system. The PA system is tied into the Eagle Audio upgrade we did. And what this thing allows you to do, aside from just you know your generic siren public address features, you can record messages uh, to the system, play them back whenever you want, or you can even play radio that you're receiving out over the loudspeakers so your guys on the ground can speak over the aircraft PA system, which is a pretty unique upgrade. And another significant one for us is the pulse recognition lights, which you see here right under the steps. Pulse recognition lights are just kind of a flashing warning light coming from the front of the aircraft to make it more visible in marginal uh, conditions. The biggest visible upgrade to the Firehawk is the extended landing gear and tank system. The extended landing gear allows us to install this thousand gallon tank. The thousand gallon tank can fill itself with a snorkel in roughly 45 seconds to a minute and drop all of that water within 10 seconds if you do a maximum dump. So coming around to the back of the aircraft, you'll see the plethora of antennas we've installed. There's roughly 20 in total if you go around the entire thing. The most significant upgrade from a tactics perspective are these four all band, all digital FM antennas. This allows them to use any frequency they want on any of those four antennas and then low band on the blade you can see on the top. In addition, for safety upgrades, we've done a TCAS system along with ADSB in-out transponders so you can get weather along with ground traffic updates. Aside from that, you can see on the metal whip antennas, that is part of the Garmin GTN 750s. These were actually upgraded with a 16 watt um, output processor. So these things are in, have incredible range compared to the OEM eight watt uh, radios that come out of these things normally. Another visible thing, you can see the two GPS WASP receivers. These compare favorably to the new model of the S70, and this is a massive upgrade over what the aircraft flew in with when we arrived. Back here, you can see the flight cell tracking antenna. There's also an Iridium antenna up front. What this allows us to do is track where the aircraft is, where it picks up water so they can replenish it, and where they drop it for their whole fleet all the time live. It's a really impressive system that's tied directly to the tank. Over here on the step, you can see our dual mode NVG visible light searchlight. This allows the hoist operator to have direct control of his own independent light for hoisting operations. In front of that's the snorkel. The snorkel is really the business end of the tank. At the rear here, you can see the wash system board on the tank. This allows them to flush it of environmental contaminants to make sure they're not cross-polluting ponds or reservoirs because they have so many varied pickup points on these aircraft. Just above that, you can see the inlet barrier filters. The IVF system here um, allows it just to protect the engine from smoke and foreign debris when you're landing in dusty environments. This system in particular has indicators above the pilot that allows them to bypass it in case of a clog while they're in flight. 